I'm Peter from Erkin, um, plagiarism detection system for those who doesn't know. Uh, we are present in over 70 countries uh, around the world, um, and we are our headquarters is in Stockholm, Sweden. Um, I was attending a user conference in Stockholm last Thursday. Uh, for a, it was a Norwegian edutech company, and I was sitting down uh, with a guy over lunch, and we were talking about LMS systems. And uh, I mentioned that um, Canvas has been really successful in Sweden, sweeping up almost all the universities. I think there are like three or four universities still that are not using uh, Erkin. And he asked me, why is that? How come? Canvas has been so successful in Sweden. And I'm not working at Canvas, I'm, work, I'm working at Erkin. So I, I had to think for a second or two. And then I said, uh, simplicity. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if this is the major selling point for Canvas, <laughs> because I'm not selling Canvas. Uh, but I, my experience from Canvas is basically only the assignment, the creating assignment, because that's where we tap in and do the plagiarism detection. But it's really simple. Like I, I get a user account for a test account, and I just intuitively know how to do this. And this is also what I got, get from customers. It's really easy to use uh, Canvas. Um, so we don't want to complicate it when we are building our integration into to the Canvas. So when teachers are using Erkin and Canvas, they are basically following exactly the same workflow as they would using only Canvas. So I'll show you uh, really bad screenshots, but it doesn't really matter because those of you using uh, Canvas will probably recognize this anyway. This is basically the only difference between using setting up a normal assignment to setting up uh, an assignment with plagiarism detection enabled. So you choose Erkin. <laughs> and then there's also an option a bit further down where you can choose to show similarities uh, report to students immediately or at uh, the due date or when it's graded or never if you choose that. That's it. Um, Seeing results as a teacher when the student has submitted the document. Uh, this would be your normal speed grader. You just click the 100% there, the report will open. If you go to grades, you can click the red tab. You will come here. You click the 100% or if it's 99 or 20 or whatever, you click it, the report open. Students submitting documents where plagiarism detection has been enabled in Canvas. This is really silly, actually, because I don't need to show you this. This is exactly the same as in Canvas. Same view. No difference. You don't need, really, to teach the students how to do this, because it would be the same. Uh, viewing results would be a bit different, because they will have, if the report is not ready yet, they will have the stopwatch, or they will see the red tab, they click it, the report open. Uh, this I'm uh, not very happy about because I had to take screenshots from our old uh, report interface. And there's a new one, uh, and I didn't get screenshots until Monday. I had to submit this uh, presentation uh, Sunday. If you want to see the newer interface, please come by, by our stand. Uh, but anyway, this is what uh, the old report looks like, very easy. Some basic information about the submitted documents, top left, top right the sources that we found similarities in, bottom left student document, and any matching sources on the right. Uh, also very easy to, to, to understand. We don't have many student or teachers that we need to teach actually how to interpret this, but it'll be even easier in our new interface. Five minutes, or almost, uh, and I'm actually done with whatever you want to know when using Canvas, or Erkin and Canvas. So I'll show you a bonus picture of my two daughters, not happy about boating. <laughs> and I'll show you just one or a couple of cool things that we do. Uh, this has been 
becoming more and more common. Students understanding that, hey, uh, you can cheat the plagiarism detection systems. So one thing is, sorry, but it's in Swedish, but it would work the same way. Uh, take all the white space, change it for X, but mark them as white. So doing this would make words sort of say, something's wrong here. I don't recognize these words. Save it as PDF, and it's gone. Teacher won't see it. Plagiarism detection system won't understand this. So it will just throw no similarities. Also, uh, another great idea. Go to Wikipedia, search for Russian alphabet. And you will have a lot of uh, uh, characters that look exactly the same in Kyrillic as in Latin. Uh, you take those, and here it looks like I'm changing A for A. But that's actually a Latin letter. This is the Kyrillic one. So doing this with these homoglyphs, as they are called, uh, just pick a few, change all of them, will make words say, I don't recognize any of these words, actually. Save it as PDF, it's gone. And you effectively cheated plagiarism detection systems, except Arkin, because we show this. <laughs> so we, we detect whenever white space is changed uh, for something else. And we also detect when other uh, character sets has been used in, uh, uh, to mix up uh, and try to circumvent plagiarism detection. I actually lost track of time, but I'm, I think I'm one minute. Uh, I still have one minute. <laughs> uh, I don't need it because it's that simple. We have a, this is our manual for the Canvas integration for how to use uh, Erkin in, uh, in Canvas. And it's six pages, just printed one, one side. <laughs> one of them is the content, actually. And a lot of them are just things that you, it looks the same way as uh, you would normally see it in Canvas. So that's it. Thank you.